Oh, I got a nice one to share with you. This is a MacBook Pro 15, the one with the Intel i7 8850H CPU at 2.6 gigahertz with six physical cores and six virtual cores. Well, let me tell you that this customer was suffering from this unit shutting down under heavy load. It was overheating, and that happens a lot with these MacBook Pro 2018s, as some will call them. And it's because it gets in, invaded and it gets filled with dust and dust bunnies. Doesn't matter how clean you are, this customer wasn't dirty. There wasn't like roaches or nothing nasty in here. He was absolutely a clean guy, but the problem is that dust, it doesn't matter. It gets in everywhere and these machines need to be cleaned out. When you go ahead and clean out the dust, you also have to replace the thermal paste. Now, unfortunately, this board, you could tell, had been heated up many times beyond its capability, and that made a lot of the connections very weak. So you have to be careful when you're removing some of the cables on the board because some of the headers will break off because the solder has become stressed. So be careful out there when you're doing this work yourself if you don't want to take it to a professional. This job needs to be done on these MacBooks every so often. Every few years, you should go ahead and do that. And then you should stress test your MacBook just to make sure that it's performing well under heavy load. This will find all the different issues. It shouldn't shut off on you. And the fans should operate in a high, loud fan noise. And it should be taking up enough air into the system to cool it off. And with the two pieces of software that I'm going to show here in just a moment, you'll be able to monitor that and make sure that your MacBook Pro or MacBook is performing well. For those of you wondering how I go ahead and test Macs these days, I use two apps. I use the Endurance app right there, which will put your CPU under load up to 100% there. And if you don't have your uh, power cord plugged in, it will go ahead and drain your battery and it'll let you know how long your battery will last under full load there. Now, the other app that I do use is this Mac Fan Control. Now, this customer had that installed already because he was having problems and it's a great app to see what your temps are while this test is going on. So, great little setup here to test Macs. Uh, very different than PCs because I use Prime 95 and a few other things on PCs, but... For those of you loving Macs, there you go.